हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज साहिदी एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन अ सिंपल ट्रिक टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस ऑन बीट्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट मॉडल्स दैट विल कम इन नीट 2022 नाउ वी विल सॉल्व द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू वाइब्रेटिंग ट्यूनिंग फोक्स प्रोड्यूस प्रोग्रेसिव वेव्स गिवन बाय y1 4 sin 500 5d and y2 2 sin 506 5d number of beats produced per minute is asked so if we compare these equations with the standard equation y equal to a sin omega t then omega 1 becomes 500 pi and omega 2 becomes 506 pi we know that omega equal to 2 pi n right so n1 becomes 500 by 2 that is 250 And n two becomes phi naught six by two, that is two fifty three. Now we know the values of n one and n two. So if we find the beat frequency, n one minus n two will become two fifty three minus two fifty, that is three. With over confidence, don't go for option B because three is per second. They are asking for per minute. So three into sixty, that is one eighty. So our option will be one eighty, but not three. Second question: Two tuning forks, when sounded together, produce five beats in two seconds. The time interval between two successive maximum intensities of sound is. First, we will find out beat frequency. Beat frequency is nothing but number of beats produced per second, right? So in two seconds, five beats are produced. Then for one second, how many beats are produced? We have to find. So it is five by two. That is two point five. Now n one minus n two. That is beat frequency becomes two point five. The formula for time interval between two successive maximum intensities of sound is one by n one minus n two. So one by two point five. That equal to ten by twenty five. That equal to Five two zero five five zero two by five two by five equal to zero point four. So our option will become A. Now coming to the third question, sixty four tuning forks are arranged such that each fork produces four beats per second with the next one. If the frequency of the last fork is octave of the first, then the frequency of the sixteenth fork is. For this question to be solved, you have to know an equation from arithmetic progression. That is. A n equal to a plus n minus one into b. Here a n is the nth term, a is the first term, d is the difference, and here you have to find the frequency of the sixteenth four. So here our n becomes sixteen. So our equation becomes a sixteen equal to a plus sixteen minus one. Here d is our beat frequency, that is four. Here we don't know a value, right? So to find this, they gave a hint. That is, the frequency of last fork is octave of the first. Here octave is nothing but twice. So a sixty four is given as twice of a, right? So a sixty four equal to a plus sixty four minus one into four. So here two a equal to a plus sixty three into four. Two a minus a becomes a. So a equal to four three plus twelve twenty four twenty five. Our a becomes two fifty two. We have to substitute here a sixteen equal to two fifty two plus fifteen into four. Two fifty two plus. Sixty, so it becomes three one two. So frequency of the sixteenth four is three one two. Our option becomes B. Now we will go to the fourth question. This is the previous year question. A source of unknown frequency gives four beats per second when sounded with a source of known frequency two fifty hertz. The second harmonic of the source of unknown frequency gives five beats per second with sound when sounded with the source of frequency five thirteen hertz. The unknown frequency is so how to solve this? Two fifty 
with some unknown frequency produces 4 beats per second. So this may be 250 plus 4 that is 254 or it may be 250 minus 4 that is 246. Right? Now they are saying the second harmonic. Second harmonic means you have to multiply with 2, right? So 254 into 2 becomes 508 and 246 into 2 becomes 492. They are saying when second harmonic is sounded with, unknown, uh, with a known frequency 513 Hz, they produce 5 beats per second, right? So we have to check 508 and 513. It is 5 beats, right? And 492 and 513, it is more than 5, something like 21 beats, right? So this one will be our answer. So the unknown frequency will be 254. Now coming to the fifth question, it is given in AIPMP 2010. A tuning fork of frequency 512 Hz makes 4 beats per second with the vibrating string of a piano. The B frequency decreases to 2 beats per second when the tension in the piano string is slightly increased. The frequency of the piano string before increasing the tension was. There is a tuning fork and a string of piano. The tuning fork frequency is 512. We don't know the string frequency. It produces 4 beats per second battery. Now beat frequency decreases to 2 beats per second when the tension is increased. So the unknown frequency uh, can be write as can be written as 1 by 12 T by mu, right? So when the tension increases, obviously n will increase. So n1 and n2, n2 will be more, right? So let us take tuning fork as A and string as B. N A minus N B is equals to 4 initially and N B minus N A is 4. As I said in the previous video, write 8 minus 6 equal to 2 and 8 minus 6 equal to 2. Now the string B, uh, tension is increased so frequency get increased. So 6 becomes 7 and 8 becomes 9. Write 8 as it is and 6 as it is. So 8 minus 7, 1 and 9 minus 6, 3. They are saying the B frequency is decreased to be, uh, decreased to 2 beats per second. So we have to take decreased case. So this will be the <coughs> 1. So NA is 512 minus NB equal to 4. So NB becomes 512 minus 4 that is 508. So our answer will be 508 that is C option. Subscribe to my channel for further videos and I will see you in the next one.